Hello everyone, this is Alex, the driving instructor from Sensen Driving School. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to deal with cul-de-sacs. So before we begin, generally I get booked up at least two months in advance. Yes, that's weekdays and weekends. So please reach out to me as early as possible if you would like lessons from me. The best way to contact me is through text and I'll reply as soon as I can. I will always give priority bookings to students who are subscribers to this channel. Thank you. So what is a cul-de-sac? A cul-de-sac is a dead-end street or a street that is closed at one end. They're typically located in residential areas, so watch out for hazards such as children playing or cars entering or exiting their driveways. And here's an example of one. So cul-de-sac, as you approach, you want to slow down, checking the rear view mirror. Then you want to signal left anywhere between three to five car lengths before. Shoulder check right before you enter the cul-de-sac, checking for cyclists. Then you want to keep to the right along the curb, entering counterclockwise. Turn your wheel left and stay along the curb following the curve of the street. Keep checking out the front window and your left window alternating as you are driving in the cul-de-sac. Then when you reach the end of the cul-de-sac, make sure you pull the car back to the right hand side of the road just in case there are oncoming vehicles. All right, let's go into some examples here. Okay, example number one. So you can see as I approach the cul-de-sac, I'm slowing down. I recommend anywhere between 15 to 20 kilometers an hour while you're driving in the cul-de-sac. So you see, see that I signaled left, I shoulder checked right before I entered it, alternating between the left window and the front window while I'm driving in it. Okay, another example here. Again, slowing down before I enter, signal left, shoulder check right, Enter counterclockwise, slowing down, following the outer curve of the cul de sac. So I stopped here because there was a car that was entering their driveway. That's why we look out our window and then the front window, alternating. And this is how a sign would look like, warning you that there's a cul-de-sac ahead. Again, just a refresher of the steps. Slow down as you approach, checking the rear view mirror. Signal left three to five car lengths before. Shoulder check right before you enter the cul-de-sac, checking for cyclists. Then make sure you keep to the right along the curb entering counterclockwise. Then turn your wheel left and stay along the curb following the curve of the street, the outer curve of the street. Next, keep checking out the front window and your left window alternating as you are driving in the cul-de-sac. Then next, when you reach the end of the cul-de-sac, make sure you pull the car back to the right-hand side of the road just in case there are oncoming vehicles. Okay, that's it for now. Please subscribe, like this video, and comment below, and let me know what you would like to see more from this channel. Thank you. Bye now.